table. So Kevin, what's on the table for this month? Hey, Betty, this, uh, I don't know, I don't think it's 4th of July. Okay. Maybe Halloween? You think? Because you see our little ghost and I'm, our I'm little scared. Witch. I'm, I'm a little Are nervous. You scared? Yeah, I'm a little scared. <laughs> so, what kind of food do we have in store for Halloween? I love candy, but I well, know that's not God, good for us. And I know, and you know, that's the first thing I was going to think of was all those good treats that are out there. And yeah. I know when I eat those treats, where they go to on my body, where do they go on your body? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the same place. Yeah. So I think one you're of the right. things that I found was this great recipe for pumpkin soup. Mm. It is so delicious and it's healthy for you. So we is can that take in this book here? You know what? I believe that it is. Great. And it's so healthy for you. Also, pumpkin pie, if you actually make it with the right ingredients. And the right crust. Yeah, yeah, the right crust. What about the uh, the whipped cream on top? Is that a bad oh, idea? Bad, Probably bad. Probably a bad idea. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> really bad. But you know, one of the things that people do, and I, I think it's a great game for the kids, is dunking for apples. I used to love dunking or bobbing for apples. Now, I dunked my little brother. Okay. I bobbed, yep. but I dunked him. Yeah. Okay, I like that even better. <laughs> and those apples are really good for you and very healthy. Sure, and good fiber. A, yeah, and yeah. this is a wonderful time to take kids and go out to a farm and gather apples. And what a great season for exercise. Yes. The heat of the summer is yes. over. Yes. There's a lot of 5, 10Ks, uh, half marathons out there, yep. full marathons. Right. I love this season for getting out and getting on the road. Right. And, and again, when you, it, it's a fun time. The weather is absolutely perfect. Oh, Hasn't favorite. it been great? Do you love the smell of the wet leaves after they're all falling? Yeah. Uh, I, love I love the color of the leaves. Mm -hmm. Those colors are magnificent. They are. When they are. I just trees, love that fresh air that's out there. Yeah, when those trees are changing colors, mm -hmm. it is so wonderful to see. Yeah, yeah. And as you said, exercise is the key to incorporate what you do for this month. And then feeding our body with good stuff. Yes. And those apples, the pumpkin soup, mm -hmm. are, and that's going to be a nice treat for your family. Absolutely. And easy yeah. to fix and inexpensive. Right. Yeah. Right. And uh, I think we have enough uh, ad lib here from... Uh, what is this guy? Uh, you know, I'm not sure if he's a sorcerer or if he's a witch. I'm not sure which one he is. Looks like the Grim Reaper. <gasps> the Grim Reaper. That's exactly who he is. It is. Good I job, think so. Kevin. And you know, he's going to come from us if we aren't eating healthy, right? Right. Right. And you know, some of the things that we can do this Halloween, which mm -hmm. I know is going to be totally different for so many parents, is that we need to start thinking about healthy foods to give out at Halloween. And that's a tough one. Yeah, That's a is. tough one because my initial reaction when I have to go out and get food or things to give away for Halloween mm -hmm. is go to the Walmart or the Target and get those big bags of oh, fat yeah. candy bars. Yeah, yeah. They're nothing but fat, right? I've definitely done that before, but you know, this Halloween I want to do something different. What can we so, do? Yeah, I thought about actually popping popcorn. Really? And putting a little popcorn in every little bag. It's It would be a nice family get together. Let's all sit around and bag some popcorn, cook popcorn, sure. pop the popcorn, bag it, and give that out as one alternative. That's a great idea. And what about nuts? I love nuts. Me too. Me too. I Cashews, love nuts. pistachios, oh, yeah. peanuts. Absolutely. And they're and they're also very good for you. Yeah. So I would definitely think that, you know, we can go to the grocery store. They actually have the snack bags. Yes, so they're not the big right. sandwich bags. So you can get the snack bags yeah. and put a little some peanuts in there, the popcorn. I like the idea of the snack bags. I know a lot of parents are always concerned about when they take their young children out trick-or-treating right. every year right. and taking anything that's been prepared. So things like this is a good idea because they know it's safe. Right. It's been quality checked. It can't be tampered with. Right. Right. So you wouldn't that's want to ever right. eat anything that is in a bag that's been unsealed. Yes. We wouldn't do that normally in the yeah. store anyhow, right? Yeah. And that's when the Grum Reaper comes in. When yeah, people exactly. do those kind of things. You know, I remember hearing something about people putting razors and, and oh, in yeah. the candy. Yeah. And I'm thinking, who does that? But there's sealed boxes of raisins. Yes. Little, oh, little boxes I love of raisins the good. raisin Iron, idea. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. And even if you're going to do candy, how about the dark, dark chocolate? Wow, I that's love dark chocolate. Yeah, and that's actually good for you. Yeah, it's the milk chocolate that has uh, all yeah. the calories, right? It has the calories, and I know that has some of the good stuff, but they, if you no, get them used to the dark chocolate, it really has an excellent flavor. Yeah, 
Yeah. And I think I think they would really enjoy that. I think so too. And is it antioxidants? Antioxidants. Antioxidants. Yeah. It's in the dark chocolate. Yeah. That's good. And, and it just is a much healthier choice. So again, sitting the family around on the table, mm -hmm. <laughs> putting nice. these things <laughs> on the table, and you are just get those bags and just start filling them up. And what a great alternative! For and that Halloween sounds tree. that is great alternatives. And that sounds. Simple and simplistic. Yes. So Rings we bell. continue to keep it simple and simplistic. That's I great. I love it. That's great. I love it. So let's see, what else can we do? Um, there are websites that will probably tell us if there's any good candy bars that are out there. If you just have to go buy packaged candy bars, right? Uh, there's going to be websites that will tell us what's the best candy bar that's out there. Yes. For us. It's or the not healthiest so candy bar. And yes. we know there are these healthy. Uh, uh, bars of, yes. uh, that people eat that can sometimes be a little pricey though. Sure, sure. But maybe around this holiday season, maybe they'll come out, maybe they'll be considerate and come out with little oh, minis. That would, you know, that's a great suggestion. We, we should start make, that. We need to do that. <laughs> wow. I mean, that would be a wonderful money maker sure. for us. Sure. We need I to contact uh, Nabisco or somebody about that. Yeah. Maybe we can I, sell our idea. I think that's a great idea. Sure. And it definitely would be, you know, we see the president's wife trying to make, trying to help our kids reduce the obesity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the country. A uh, great effort. That is such a huge problem for so many of our kids. I know. I watch these kids some, sometimes when I see them, I, my heart just breaks. I know. Because they can barely move. Yeah. And I think once they took recess out of the schools, because they did, you Big know, mistake. they took the gym mm -hmm. classes. I used to hate those shorts, though. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. changing. I, I really didn't like that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a whole lot of fun. No, no. But it really kept us healthier. It did. It made us aware of what good exercise was. Right. A good regimen, a good practice, right. a good discipline to get into. Right. And it also, when it kept us a little lean, that was good kept for our self-esteem. It was a lot lean. It was good for our uh, self-esteem. Right. And we felt good about going out of the house. And, and you know what I found out? Because we were all, honestly, we were all skinny back in the 60s. Yes. Uh, and what I found out is because we were so skinny mm -hmm. that the Army actually it, uh, wouldn't take a lot of the men into the service because they were too small. That's amazing. So what they did is they implemented the lunchroom program to help feed us so we could eat more. <laughs> to fatten us up a little and bit. And kind of Great. it's backfired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. Because guess in the so. schools, and thank goodness I'm seeing this, that in some of the schools they are starting to give healthy alternatives for lunch. Yes, I think that's a great Have idea. Have you seen that? Yes. Yeah. So I, I think that's wonderful. They are taking the the soda machines out mm -hmm. uh, of the schools and sure. replacing that with juice and juice, water. Juice, exactly. And we exactly. need to encourage practice. them to, to drink more water. Mm -hmm. What other things are you seeing? Well, uh, as far as food practices? Yeah. Especially well, for the kids, I think. For the kids, I just see like uh, uh, Michelle Obama's program to bring awareness right. to the children. Yes. It's not anything that, you know, the parents are sitting there telling the kids what to do right. because you're always going to have the rebellious kid who doesn't want to listen yes. to mom and dad. Oh, really? But the, Did you yeah, have that in your no, house? No, no, ne never. <laughs> I, I, I never, never had that in my house. No. no. <laughs> but I always, uh, I just love the messages that are out there of yes. bringing awareness to the children through cartoons, through videos, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's making them a lot smarter and giving them choices. Right. And the nice thing is what we want to do and continue to say on this program is a kiss. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple and simplistic. Absolutely. <laughs> so as long as the kids have that good information and they have good food, good food in front of them, yes. good exercise habits, then they're, they're going to shape up a lot better, I think. And now we're going to go to break. All right. Don't touch the remote. We'll be right back.
welcome back to the show. And what do we have on the table, Betty? We have the Grim Reaper. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a time for us to not give in to our kids on candy. This is a time for us to really start talking about these healthy choices. Because there's going to be a lot of candy flooded out there. Oh, my goodness. And, and the thing about it is, they are, our children are so much more obese today. They are. And they are getting more and more unhealthy. So the Grim Reaper becomes a reality. Absolutely. And now, I know a lot of people, when they think about the Grim Reaper, they think of somebody maybe not exactly our age, but right. older. Right. And it's not just um, those people that are at risk these days. Right. It is our, our young children. Yes, they're getting childhood, um, uh, what is the word, the diabetes. Oh, absolutely. Childhood diabetes. Yeah, type 2, I type think. Type 2. Is, uh, is that the... Uh, on younger onset? Yeah, the younger onset of mm -hmm. diabetes and more heart problems and things that we never worried about. Because no. I don't know about you, but when I was younger, we could be gone all day, playing all outside. day, which we did yeah. outside. Yes. And the only rule was, I don't know if it was in your household, is be back in before the street lights came on. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We had the same thing. Yeah, and it was yeah. much safer. Yes, it was. And we didn't snack. Well, we didn't have the money to snack. Sure, <laughs> sure. So that makes a big difference. We didn't, well, I think we kind of got McDonald's probably when I was in high school. Well, I remember in the afternoon, mom would give us uh, little snacks. Oh, You know, just okay. something to tide us over between lunch yeah. and dinner. Yeah. But it was, come in and get your snack. And it was, right. get back out in the yard, go get ride your out. bike, go right. run through the woods. Right. That, that's what we did. Yeah. And it was fun. And we didn't have video games. And we didn't have videos. We weren't sitting in front of a TV all day. No. No. And I think that's and we had a, a great time doing it. Yeah. And, and as we approach this holiday season, the nice thing about trick-or-treat is you do walk around the neighborhood. You know, that's a great point. There's a lot of good exercise to be had just going trick-or-treating. Yes. yes. But the, when you collect that candy, <laughs> you need to put it away and not allow the kids to eat everything on that first night. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, you know, give them two or three pieces, but don't overdo. Right. You know? And give them the healthy choices that we talked about. Absolutely. Maybe a combination of, here's a couple of your treats that you got from your trick-or-treating, and here's an apple, here's some nuts. Right. Some, uh, and hopefully they'll have some of those things in their bag. Well, let's hope so. That let's would be so. really cool, because then that would mean that other families are doing what we're suggesting. You know, I always do like that saying, it takes a village. Because oh, it like really that. does. It, it takes a community of taking care of each other right. and looking out for each other. And even if there's somebody out there who doesn't have kids, right. they can be considerate about somebody else's kids and offer some of these alternatives. And that's such a good point because I think as we build this and really focus on healthy choices mm -hmm. and take that whole village, wow. Absolutely. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah. And oh, then our health care costs go down and we oh, feel a lot better. Absolutely. Go figure. And the thing is... Let's include those parents in that walking and exercise, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. I think making a family event yeah. would make all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. Can you yeah. imagine that, that parents get out there and do some jumping jacks with their kids? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> Remember dodgeball? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'd love to hit my mom. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? A little uh, youthful retaliation. Yeah, yeah. And it, it wouldn't have to come back on you. <laughs> That's right. And you get good exercise doing it. Yeah, and, and I think she'd learn how to dodge the ball, too. I think so, too. <laughs> so, yes, I think having family activities, you know, go out and play a, uh, baseball. Sure. I don't see that many fathers doing that. No. You know, do some lifting. You know what? When you're sitting at home mm -hmm. watching TV, how about doing some of these? Wouldn't that be? You're talking let's about uh, this. twelve ounce beer cans, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now you've no. gone too far. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but can you Dumbass. imagine if you just say, "Let's during this commercial, mm -hmm. let's just do this or do some of this, lift our arms up, just stand up and bend." Can Have you, you seen the two and a half pound, five pound? Yeah. The weight. Twelve and a half pound dumbbells. Yes. Because you don't want to start of off heavy, right? I have some of those. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. Three, five, and ten pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Start off light, right? Right. Start off light. I remember challenging my little cousins who came to visit me. Mm -hmm. I was doing uh, an ex doing exercise uh, on uh, with a videotape. Okay. And I, I can't remember. Like the remember Jane Fonda what, thing? Yeah, whatever. something similar to that. <laughs> the more current one. But it was so funny. 
they couldn't keep up with me. These were kids in, they were 10 and 12 mm -hmm. years old. They were, uh, uh, I thought, are you kidding me? Yeah. I am beating all of you guys. <laughs> well, I tell you, is it, uh, I think Tim Horton is his name. I know his last oh, name is Horton, yeah. who did the P90X video. Okay. That's got a lot of good yoga in there. Oh. And you know, whenever they talk about yoga, it always seems to be centered around the women. That's true. Uh, but he's got yoga in his routine, and I couldn't even get past his first segment. It kicked wow. my butt. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I never thought yoga could be tough. Okay. And, I, and I'd heard lots of uh, uh, women who are friends of mine talk about yoga and how okay. it's so excruciating. It's like, yeah, right, I know, sure yeah. it is. You, you lay down. No, I'm, I'm a believer now. <laughs> yoga will kick your butt. And let's see, there's always, uh, I guess it's too cold to get in the pool now. Everybody's got their pools shut down. Yeah, but you can go to an indoor pool. Yes, yes, okay. sure You can. know what? I think it may be time for us to take a break. You want to take a break? I think we should take a break. Okay. Well, we'll take a break and... Think air and exercise. Must play game. Uh, what happened? Let's, let's go to the farm. Let's go. Let's go. What can we do at a farm? I'll show you. Wow, I didn't know I could have this much fun without pushing buttons. I'm finally getting feeling back in my thumb. Bonus. It's cool. It's sweet. Fresh from the farm. Let's eat. Let's go to a farm. Well, we haven't talked much about the book here, um, but we'll definitely want everybody to take a look at that. And one of the things I noticed that was in the book as I was perusing it was there's a film of the month in there? Every month mm -hmm. there is a film that we recommend. Okay. And so for Halloween we have one. Do you remember what the name of it is? I don't. Arsenic and Lace. Arsenic and Old Lace, that's oh, right. Good one. Cary Grant, who I love. He was <laughs> the sex symbol. I'd give anything <laughs> to look like Cary Grant. Day. I know. He was the one that every woman wanted. Sure, sure. <laughs> suave and debonair. But what's nice about this movie, because I absolutely hate those slasher movies. Oh, I am so year, not a good person. See. Oh, yeah. my husband knows. My eyes are closed throughout most of the movie mm -hmm. because I can't stand watching that stuff. Well, and they really don't have any substantive stories. No. No. I mean, it's basically just uh, a vehicle to get to some young girl's going to die next. Right. A right. lot of blood and gore. <laughs> right. So with this movie, with the Cary Grant movie, it is just a fun comedy. Mm -hmm. I think the whole family will enjoy it. Sure. And you will just laugh throughout. And that laughing is good for you. It is. <laughs> Another it form of exercise. One of the craziest parts of that movie was uh, the character Teddy, who thought he was uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That cracks me. That was hilarious. That was I'm hilarious. Tired. So if people have not seen it, they definitely want to see if they can get a copy from the library because a lot of these um, movies are at the library, and I don't know if people know that's that. That's great. That's great. And other than library dues and getting your card, that's, that's all you have to use, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And remember Casper the Friendly Ghost? Is he I still around? I grew up around? watching Casper. He is. He's still he around? Is. Well, they had to animate him... Uh, digitally you oh. know so they could do the movie so disappointing that was but yeah, yeah i love he was a friendly ghost he was a friendly ghost and one of the few mm. in his family yeah <laughs> but it had nothing to do with anybody dying or being hacked up with a uh, chainsaw or exactly anything like that. exactly he was the one that was trying to make a difference and i, I think that's what we try to do on this show it is on we the talk table. about on the table absolutely keeping it simple and simplistic, simplistic. Right? Yeah. yeah, and offer alternatives. Alternatives to the kids, alternatives to the parents. Absolutely. Great. I want to talk about something that is really important, and that's de-stressors. Hmm. When you're working in an office, I don't know about you, but I have had a couple of bosses that I would like to... <laughs> bosses, from. colleagues. Yes. Yeah. Really I'm get saying, under your skin. Absolutely. And there's something so simple that you can do to de-stress. One of the things is, ladies, you can take a scarf and you wind it around your neck and you think about that stressor. That person was causing, and I have one in mind right now. <laughs> and you know, there's another use for this scarf that people don't even think about. 
And that is, you can use the scarf to do some very simple exercises while sitting at your desk, mm -hmm. while sitting on the couch. A lot of people aren't able to move and walk sometimes because of surgery or they're bedridden mm -hmm. or honestly, they, might, they may be too uh, obese at this time. Sure. So if they start with something pretty simple, I think they would really it would really make a difference. Yeah, and guys, if you don't have a scarf laying nearby, you might have a shirt laying nearby, and you can use an old T-shirt or a belt. Just the same way. Or what a belt. What about a belt? Absolutely. I think that would work Great for you idea. guys. Yeah. So taking this scarf and just really just pulling, just pulling, very simple, right? And, and you if can you go feel far that left muscle. or right, you can yeah. kind of stretch a little. Go up. You know, you can feel your arms working. Mm -hmm. You can put it over your head and do this. Yeah. Very, very simple exercise. So ladies, use those scarves. And then there's, I want to show you the hand exercise. I, I would this? love to see the hand exercise. With the hand exercise, you could do that. Mm -hmm. okay. Tighten around your hand and just tighten. Really? Yeah. Okay. Can you feel that in your arm? Sure. I, I mean, sure. it really feels good. It's a and little, that, little bit of a, a bicep and right. forearm. And, and again, on the table means keeping it simple and simplistic. How and simple that's is simple. that? Doesn't cost How me a thing. How simple is that? Doesn't cost me a and thing. And then when you do your <clears throat> fingers, <clears throat> how about pulling your fingers? You know, humans, we were very tactile. Yeah. And there's a reason we have an opposable thumb. Okay. Sure. It's for massaging things like fingertips, like right. you said. And, and what's this exercise called? It's iso... Isotonics. 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 So important. The other thing is you can massage your like fingers. That. I like that. And, yeah. and do you have anything? Well, there's a, a really simple hand strengthening okay. that you can do. And also keep in mind that while you're doing things at home or in your office, it's also distracting you from any of those stressors that are in your yes. office or at home if you're worried about bills or the economy or what's going on in Syria. Doing these things just takes your mind off of all of that. So That's a great point. What do you call this? I don't know. It's Halloween, I'll give you a hint. Crabs? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, we're in Maryland, could be crabs. Right, could be crabs. No, this is the spider doing push-ups on a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would have got that. So now if the mirror's on the wall and you want to do it like this, and you press okay. in real hard, this is good hand strengthening oh, wow. that you can do. And a little bit in the arms too, maybe a little yeah, bit in the I shoulders. Can feel that. And, you know, while you're watching a commercial on TV between your favorite episode of whatever, then, you know, doing just these, these very simple things and give, give your hand a good massage right here in the, in the web between your thumb and forefinger. Okay. Just a really nice, if you hold that for two minutes, I'm told it will reset your circulation in your body. Again, that it distracts you. That is fantastic. You. It actually feels kind of good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So a number of things that uh, we can do that doesn't cost us anything takes our minds off what's going on in the office or at home or in the world, wherever. And you know what? You can make a game of it with the family. I guess you could. See who could come up with <laughs> different little exercises sure. while you're sitting around, especially during those commercials, which mm -hmm. are, are dead time anyway. Right. Why not use some of these exercises? They're so simple. And again, our whole model is keeping it simple and simplistic. Absolutely. And if you don't have a scarf, you don't have a shirt, right. you want to use the whole family, Right. Don't forget your family pets. Ah. Grab right. that cat. Grab that cat. Do do kitty oh, push-ups. Yeah. You know, or if you've got a 120-pound <laughs> shepherd or a St. Bernard. Yeah, I can see somebody doing that. <laughs> yeah. Um, How much you bench? My yeah. St. Bernard. Well, actually, I have a son who can bench like that. He, oh, okay. He, he only weighs 140 pounds, and he, ca he called home to brag about he could lift 300 pounds. He's a lean, mean fighting machine. Yes, That's he great. is. He drives me crazy. He probably, <laughs> and he probably eats well, too. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's you know, Kevin, there's one more stress reliever that I've tried. What's that? When my boss comes in the office and I know he is going to ring me out, <laughs> and you, I sit there, I just start tearing piece of paper. Really? Right and in front I, of him. Right in front of him as he's yelling or telling me about something. I think we need those QDR reports yes. or uh, late noise. And, yeah. No problem, boss, because you know what? I'm thinking of Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I am thinking of tearing him up. <laughs> if your boss was that piece oh, of paper. Oh, man, can you imagine? That's a good how, one. Oh, 
That feels so good. That is a good one. That feels so good. Yeah. And it makes me laugh. It keeps me positive, and I don't buy into that negative energy that's coming in. Right. Don't and that's accept the worst it. thing. Yeah. That yeah. negative energy will just take you down. I believe in being positive. Absolutely. And so this is just one more thing we can do. Just tear just them rip it up. up. That's great. And it's kind of green too, isn't it? Yeah. And then you could just recycle. <laughs> How about that? You can throw it away. What? With your stress. With my stress. I let it go. If only those stressor people at our office uh, could be could, oh, disposed of that way. <laughs> that would be wonderful. <laughs> Here's your trash can. Absolutely. That's a great idea. Yeah. I really think that we have to come up with ways that we don't let people bring that negative energy mm. into our space. We've got to deflect it. We've got to do that. So keeping in mind doing something like this mm -hmm. or doing the other. Which this is a better alternative. You like this one better? I do. I yeah. do like that. And then the spider thing. The spider on the talking about the spider that. on the mirror. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So even as they're talking to you, boy, think mm -hmm. of him as a spider. <laughs> <laughs> then I guess you really can't squish it, but oh yeah, you can squish him. <laughs> and now we're gonna go to break again. Okay. So the way this begins, Kevin, is that thank you, my body, for trying so hard to carry me through this life. I am sorry that I have abused you and misused you. I apologize for not understanding what a miraculous vehicle you are. How about we do this last one together? Okay. I, I promise to love, honor, honor and obey you to the best of my ability in all that is just and right, and right for my life from, from this, this day, day forward. forward. That's really cool. I think so too. I can imagine the power it would bring me saying that every month. Yeah. Just to refocus, rechannel. Right. And even if you just say it before you start your day, mm -hmm. what a wonderful way to start your day. It's a centered. It gets a center. Yeah. And because this is October, this is remembering the spirit. Good connecting of the dots. And wasn't this a great Halloween show? I think it was a great Halloween show. I think, I, and I'm really hoping that people learned a lot about I hope so. how to be healthy. Sure, how to be healthy, how to get exercise, Absolutely. enjoy the holiday. The de-stressors. Absolutely. Very important. Yeah. And so we're going to say goodbye and wish you all a happy Halloween. And our little guy is going to take you out. <laughs> I do look like an idiot. <laughs>